Hi and welcome to a new vlog. The setup today will be a bit different because I'm shooting this at my computer desk and you'll see why in a moment. Here is what I got in the mail uh, this morning. It's a 1.5 inch 200 by 200 pixels e-paper display module and it's made by a company named the Waveshare. We can see their logo here. Everyone knows e-paper displays, they have uh, nice advantages like uh, high visibility and uh, high viewing angles, even in direct sunlight. They don't need any backlight because they just reflect the ambient light. And also this type of display will have a lower current draw when compared to other types of uh, LCD because once you uh, send the image and uh, it has been displayed, you don't need any current to keep refreshing the image it will just stay on the lcd like you see right here this is not just a sticker uh, stuck on the lcd this is the actual uh, image being displayed on the uh, uh, e-paper uh, display so let's remove the protection film so you can see that better that was a fail i couldn't remove the protection film let me pause for a second so i had to use a small knife to get under the uh, protection film but i have it uh, removed now and we can see this is an actual image from this uh, panel see the contrast is is very good this particular panel is an MED type. Uh, this is the abbre abbreviation from a micro encapsulated electrophoretic display. Basically, it uses tiny spheres with uh, charged color pigments suspended in uh, transparent oil, and then and then uh, they can move these uh, pigments using an electronic charge. It's pretty interesting technology, and uh, you can read more about it on Wikipedia. I've always been fascinated by these types of uh, displays, but they have been out of uh, the reach of the average hobbyist until recently due to their higher price and simply they weren't just widely available on uh, eBay or AliExpress, which are the easiest methods for getting stuff like this. I got this uh, 1.54 inch model from AliExpress for about 15 bucks. It comes with this uh, connection cable, uh, but you can also get it from Banggood for $10 and eBay for around $15. So pick your favorite. I will place links for all uh, three in the description below. There are also bigger size available. I've seen on Waveshare wiki page that they're producing modules up to 7.5 inch. But now let's see how easy it is to get started uh, working with one of these modules and an Arduino board. I'm going to start with the wiki page for this uh, display module and surprisingly it uh, provides uh, more than enough info to get you started. I went through, I already went through uh, this page and there you have it, working with uh, Arduino. And if we go to that chapter we start with a hardware connection this is the pinout of the display and it's very useful. It, it tells you how to connect to your um, Arduino. And we also have uh, some uh, downloads uh, in uh, at the end of this, uh, this page. Here is this uh, archive demo code. And inside this archive, you will find the, the library for Arduino, which is used to drive this display, as well as a uh, demo sketch which we will use in a minute. So after copying the library inside the Arduino libraries uh, directory and copying the example sketch inside the sketches directory, we can connect our module to the Arduino following the provided pinout. So this is the provided uh, demo sketch. Uh, let's try to compile and upload to our board and see if anything changes. So the screen flashed a couple of times 
and now uh, we are seeing an, a timer which is updating every second in this uh, box uh, right here. So it looks like we have successfully loaded the demo sketch onto the Arduino which is now updating the screen uh, live with that uh, timer. So it looks like it is a successful test. Now it would be even more interesting if I could load the Voltlog logo into this code to get that displayed on the screen. There is a simple method to do that and uh, you need to start with your logo or image in a 200 by 200 pixel image file because that is the size of our screen. We need to open the image file inside the Microsoft Paint and from here we save it as a monochrome bitmap file. We go to save as and now we need to select a monochrome bitmap but in my case the file is already in that format so I don't need to do that. We do this because we only want black and white pixels in this image. Next, uh, you need to download and run this uh, software called uh, Image to LCD. There is a link in the wiki of the display. And once you have the uh, software loaded, it looks something like this. This software will transform your image into a C array and uh, we can load that into the program memory of the Arduino. You need to start by opening your bitmap file, so uh, click open and select your bitmap file. Then we need to change a few settings in here to make this work. For example, we uh, specify that uh, we want a C array output file type. The scan mode is vertical uh, and we have a monochrome uh, type of uh, display so we, we want a monochrome type of array to be created we have a size of 200 by 200 pixels and in my case i also selected a scan of right to left uh, just to adjust things and get the correct orientation on the uh, display but it might be different in your case depending on your orientation this is also influenced by the way the code that writes to the display works, but we won't go into that. You can just flip a few settings in here to get the correct orientation. You also want to check this option, reverse color, because uh, uh, it will make the logo look, look like uh, here, like on the right side. And this is that is what you want for this particular image. Once again, this is related to the way the code works, but instead of changing the code, we just uh, flip settings in here to make it work. Next, we click save. And this uh, will allow us to save our uh, demo file. Now we just need to copy the contents of uh, this array. So it's uh, just the uh, stuff that goes in uh, between the brackets. And we need to copy this inside the um, uh, file named imagedata.cpp and we need to replace the actual uh, contents of the array that is already found in here. This is the image used in the demo by the creators of this uh, demo sketch and we are replacing the contents of this array with uh, the contents of the array we just generated from um, image to LCD. Inside our main sketch, we can also remove a bunch of unnecessary code. This uh, extra code was displaying stuff on the, on the uh, display that we don't need. So I have uh, removed it, I'm left with just the code needed to display uh, my image data. So let's see how this uh, goes, let's try and compile it and upload. And it appears to be working. 
as you could see from my example, it was uh, pretty simple to get started working with this uh, display. Loading the provided exam example was very simple and then uh, just modifying the contents of that array with uh, with my own um, image array and then removing some unnecessary lines of code. It was really easy to display my own image on this uh, e-paper display. So I hope you learned something from uh, this video or maybe you got inspired to build something after seeing this video. Don't forget there are links in the description below and uh, if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time.